least get the children out of the factory because it's not safe. There's been many lives lost due to the dangerous jobs they're having to do. I think instead of prohibiting child labor, because let's be honest here, not every family can afford that. Some families choose it, some families don't have a choice. Children have to work sometimes. How about we set standards for child labor, such as length of hours work, conditions work, and what they can and can't do, their pay. If one were to guess from which Gardner-Webb University course of study the preceding remarks were taken, a vast array of answers would likely be given. With elements of history, public speaking, graphic design, economics, and social sciences, many would find it difficult to believe that the class is actually a British literature honors course. Students in the class spent four weeks participating in an elaborate learning exercise designed to offer context that can be difficult to convey in a traditional lecture series. Gardner-Webb English professor Dr. Janet Land explains. When you're teaching literature from the 19th century, literature that's written in context, the context piece is the most difficult piece to, to get students to understand. I can lecture all day but that's my knowledge, things that I've learned, things that have interested me. It doesn't really relate to them. Land decided to implement a role-playing game that was developed by Bernard College of New York. Titled Reacting to the Past, the game is set in a historical time period and students are assigned roles formed from classic texts in the history of ideas. Class sessions are run entirely by students and instructors guide those students and then grade their oral and written work. Land chose to use a game currently in development titled Rage Against the Machine, set in Manchester, England during the early years of the Industrial Revolution. Students discussed issues such as child labor laws and minimum wage requirements, and their speech and writing was required to reflect the voice of the character they represented. Freshman Wendy Harmon said the strategy was incredibly challenging, but wonderfully effective. Not only was it educationally different. I liked being a part of it. I felt like I learned the material better because it was more interactive rather than lecture style. And you start picking up how you should behave, but it's interesting because it's not in this time period. So you have to pick up different mannerisms and different types of speech and you have to learn about new materials. And so it was interesting to be someone completely different. Freshman Michael Kennelly agreed that the experience helped solidify the course material and helped him understand the importance of understanding literary context. It added a lot of fun, you know, because not saying it wasn't fun before, but it was very, very intense because you wanted to do the best you possibly could. And so when you have something like that, it kind of lightens the mood while still retaining the educational aspect of it. So this assignment was practical, you know, it helps you to try to understand someone and see where they're coming from and see where you're coming from and see if you can't match those meet in the middle. Since this was the first opportunity Land had to implement the game, what was her response? Pleasantly surprised. I read after we started that typically students are hesitant uh, and then gradually they own the roles and really start participating. So going back and reading that and learning that our experience was, was normal, the same things were happening for us as, as happens for other groups, was reassuring. Even the more introverted students jumped into their roles wholeheartedly. They spoke out. They had, uh, for the most part, they all had authoritative roles, so they had to be in character. So it, it was a nice icebreaker. And much like life, the roles were established by chance. I had to decide how I'm going to assign the roles, and I didn't want to assign. I wanted it to be your lot in life. So I put the slips with the names on them in uh, some sort of container and then they had to draw them out. It's really hard staying character sometimes because you don't have all the answers to the puzzle. And so staying character, staying true to the character because that's what provides for a great environment, you know, a great experience. It's when everyone plays their role. And so, you know, you want to make sure that you're doing everything your character would do. Otherwise, you know, you don't have a complete experience. Land believes with planning and attention to logistics, the game could also be expanded to include more than one class. A colleague uh, that also teaches this same course uh, has sat in for one of the sessions and, and she's interested and we talked about the chances of both of us having the same course at the same time and playing the game and then merging the two courses for the role playing game. We thought that would be interesting. I think my favorite part about it is this class before we had a lot of discussion but not as much personal interaction and now I feel a lot more closely knit with my classmates because we've all had the chance to interact and have fun with one another and if you can do something that's that uncomfortable for a lot of people together it's great to see how much more closely we've grown throughout this experience. A minimum age 
child has to be at least 13 to work in the factories, and we're also making it a law that they have to pay the same amount that the adult weavers are being 